going on you to Kurt Seven here for the review of Manchester United versus Burnley at Old Trafford, which ended in a 3 1 victory to United. And which is probably the. No, 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 sorry, I want to take that back for a second. Not probably, it was the worst performance all season long. That has got to be one of the worst matches I've ever seen Manchester United play ever. It didn't even feel like a win. It felt like a 3-1 loss at home to Burnley. And credit to Burnley. I'm, I'm taking no credit away from Burnley. They were fantastic today. They came with a plan. They bossed it from the start. Danny Ings put on a show. And I tell you what, they do not deserve to be going home with no points whatsoever. They've been robbed. United, it was just another frustrating game. I've been saying it all season long. This season is going to be a season full of inconsistent uh, results and inconsistent play. Today didn't, today was just, oh wow, today was just really, really special. The game started, lads. Phil Jones injured again within, what, a few minutes? Again, another injury. That's it. I, I, I've had it up to here with Phil Jones. Sorry. Sorry, mate. You've got potential. You look like you can be a great defender in the future. But your body just can, cannot cut it at Premier League level, or at least for a top club. Sorry, mate, but I think you should go in the summer because you're just going to keep getting injured, keep getting injured. The guy that replaced you, Chris Smalling, he was okay today. He wasn't fantastic. Yeah, he did score two goals, Chris Smalling, and how with his first start, you put it in the back of the net. Chris Smalling, he was okay. For me, Rojo is our best central defender. Smalling... I would keep at the club. Chris Smalling could be a decent backup. If we do buy two central defenders, I would still keep Chris Smalling next season as backup. We, you need you need a big squad no matter what. And I think for me, even though he can be suspect at times, he's half decent. Uh, um, Chris Smalling is all right. Rojo, he, he's our best defender. Um, today we didn't play with Shaw. Didn't play with no right backs, no Valencia. We played four at the back at the start. Daily Blind gets injured as well. And Ander Herrera came on. Now, Ander Herrera, I've been wanting to play for a long, long, long time. Uh, but I don't know why he's not starting. You've seen it. As soon as he came on, he was just, you know, he just made an impact. But I think the reason why Louis Van Gaal is not a big fan of Ander Herrera is his size. I think he knows in the midfield that you need, you know, someone who's not going to get pushed off the ball easy. Carrick, Daly, Blind, they're a little bit bigger than um, Ander Herrera. And saying that, you'd think he would start Fellaini. But anyways, that's another story. Anyways, not long after we scored a goal, Danny Ying scored a wonderful, wonderful header. Mate, superb goal. 1-1, one, one, all squared. I'm thinking to myself, shit, Burnley, they're right up for it. That first half, lads, was all Burnley. It was a disgrace. We couldn't even get it into Burnley's half. Burnley, credit to them, when they got the ball, they pushed us. When we got the ball, we just passed it around. We just did nothing. We didn't penetrate. We didn't We didn't want to go and kill the game. We didn't go, want to go and win it. We just wanted to, you know, we were happy just, just to have the ball. You know, it was embarrassing. Burnley, every time they got the ball, boom, you got it. Four passes, one, twos, and they're off. You've seen it crystal clear. And just before halftime, Chris Smalling scored again, this time from a corner. Yeah, we actually scored from a corner, a short corner that was Rooney to De Maria. A lovely, lovely cross from De Maria and, and a beautiful finish from Chris Smalling. 2-1 ahead, complete robbery. Didn't, didn't deserve that whatsoever. Go inside, uh, go, in, go into halftime at 2-1 up. And uh, like I said, didn't deserve that. Came out the second half and we did improve. Now, this is the biggest difference for me, from Moyes to Louis van Gaal. Yeah, the football isn't great so far for neither of them, but Moyes would have stuck with that formation for the whole 90 minutes. He wouldn't have changed formation, he wouldn't have changed game style, but Louis van Gaal seen a problem and he changed it. At the second half, you see Robin van Persie drop deeper, push Genazai out wide, and, and it paid dividends. We look a lot better. We looked a lot better in that second half. We're still not the best, but we did look a little bit better. Radamel Falcao. I don't know. I don't know about Rob uh, Radamel Falcao. Yes, his performances have not been worthy of the price tag he's been linked with, but in saying that, 
is that all round of mouth Falcao's fault. The service he is getting is shocking. It's terrible. It's quite, let's be honest lads, it's embarrassing the service he's getting. Let's not talk about are we going to keep Radamel Falcao? Does he even want to stay? Come on, a, a striker of his quality could be going to any other team, you know, in the world, let alone just England, and it'll get much better quality. Hell, if you had a stuck him up front for Burnley today, you for sure he would have scored a couple of goals. But, anyways, Radamel Falcao, I would just like to see him with better midfielders behind him. I'm not saying I want to keep him, I'm not saying I want to sell him or not get him, whatever. I just want to see more from him. Uh, and saying that, lads, Robin Van Persie in that second half did look a lot better. Robin Van Persie, for me, in that second half was class quality. He linked up the play well with um, Di Maria, linked up the, uh, well with uh, James Wilson when he came on. And saying that, Wayne Rooney, man, he's just so, so, so deep today. But in saying that, a lot of people are angry that Wayne Rooney's in the midfield, and so am I. But lads, who are we gonna stick in the midfield? Who's got that drive? Who's got? He's gonna be. He's gonna be that Roy Keane-esque player to lead the way. You see that in Rooney. That's why I think Rooney's in the midfield because he leads by example. He's got the strength to be in there. He's got the quality, and I can't see that from anybody else in the midfield. You look on the bench. You look at our squad. Who's gonna replace that? You know. I'm, so I, I guess I can't blame Louis van Gaal so much that Rooney's so deep. But in saying that, when Daly Blind is fit again, hopefully he's not going to be out for too long. And when Michael Carrick gets back, then hopefully we're going to see Wayne Rooney advanced a bit more. But in saying that, Di Maria attacking like it was the whole game. And same as Adnan Yanis, I thought Adnan had a really good game. Even though he wasn't fantastic in taking on players, but he did take on players. And he wasn't scared, so it was great to see that from him. Di Maria takes on a few players, gets into the box and gets brought down. We win a penalty uh, and Robert Van Persie puts it home. 3-1, game over, Bob's your uncle. Highway robbery, didn't deserve that whatsoever. I kind of felt sorry for uh, Burnley because they didn't deserve that. Uh, but this is a results game. This, this, this game, football, is all about results. Louis Van Gaal, he's not here to, he's not here to get paid for pretty football. He's, he's here to get paid for results, and he's doing that so far. Now, I'm not saying top four is guaranteed because it's definitely not. It's a hot race, hot as hell. If you take a look at the table, but he's getting wins on the board, and we can't knock him for that so far. But lads, it's going to be an interesting few months left get anyways lads that's the end of this review get your comments down below i want to know what you think about or your thoughts are on this game louis van hell is he getting everything right what's he doing wrong wayne rooney falcao get your comments down below anyways lads we have got preston north end in the fa cup coming up next hopefully i'll be around to do a review then anyways i'll be a boy curtis seven take care and boots.